Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz and welcome back to City Skylines. Where last time we significantly buffed our infrastructure and highway network, added in cargo train terminals, and started pumping out black gold in our oil industry area. And now today we are going to focus on filling in kind of the empty gaps we left when we added in all this infrastructure and adding in shipping to our city. So if you're excited for that, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Oh my gosh, and you guys, you guys are lifesavers. Oh my freaking goodness. So last time when we were working on the oil industry, I added in the cargo terminal, right? So that's right here. However, <laughs> the people going in and out of here couldn't get to the oil industry very fast. So what they did was they had to go skirting all the way up here and they're turning around at the end of the highway over here so they can go all the way back. So one of you guys commented, Kibitz, why don't you add a road going back into the area? And I was like, you absolute mad lad. Genius! <laughs> so added that in just right here and bada boom. This area is now a thousand trillion times better. And look at that, they're even using both sides of the street. Like, such a good idea. Also, so many good name suggestions for the oil industry area as well. Like, oh, like there's Atlas Inc. based off the Layer Billions Atlas Transmutator. But I went with the Douglas Complex because it's a little more nuanced and that's based off the 28 years later custom campaign in Layer Billions. By the way, I just finished that up yesterday so you should check it out. <laughs> it's a wild one, it's a wild one. Completely ruined my production schedule and I've been up till 5 a.m. like all week <laughs> making videos because of it. So uh, would check it out. It's nifty, it's cool. Anyway though, getting started with our uh, big uh, projects today, we're gonna start over here which is like the last to be developed area in like the city proper here. So in one of the milestones it looks like I missed this one, but we got the cargo harbor and the harbor. And I just, <laughs> I just didn't add it in. I don't know, slipped my mind. So there we go, we're gonna add that in today. And luckily, with this stuff, bada 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 boom! Look at this, we have a shipping lane right coming through here, so it's all gonna look good. So tourists are gonna come in through here. And then we're gonna have a cargo harbor somewhere over here. But we're gonna focus on the tourists for now. So before we add it in, I gotta kinda mess with this terrain. It's a little bumpy. A little bumpy. All right, and there we go, there we go. Looking clean, looking fresh, and we are ready to build. But just before we get started on this, I was monitoring the traffic over here and it still wasn't fixed. And then I went back to the YouTube comments because I saw one where someone suggested to turn this around. Because what's been happening, and probably one of the main reasons that's been causing all the traffic, is all the trucks are like crossing over each other, when if they come this way, they won't. One will go in this way, and they'll go out that way. And it's much, much better. So instead of train our turning this thing around, I just changed up all the roads and it works just like that. Because yeah, that comment, it mentioned that this one's doing so well because yeah, everyone just goes in this way, goes out the other way. Real simple stuff, real simple solution. And by doing the roads this way, I don't have to worry about destroying my entire like train stuff here. So it's a win-win-win. Okay, with that out of the way though, let's actually start with this. And by the way, if you are ever doing like ferry terminals and stuff like that, add a key because it just makes it a thousand times easier. And let's just have this over here. That's about good because also here, we're gonna have a ferry stop. <laughs> it's a little weird, it might, be, might make things a little crowded, but I thought it'd be important because we have a ferry terminal over in our transit hub and I don't have 
a very good method of getting people from here, like the tourists specifically, to our transit hub. Like, it'd have to be a bus, and I don't want to use a bus, so we're using the ferries finally. So yeah, I just had to add in a couple of roads here, and the area's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. And check this out. Oh, I love this so much. This all goes down here into a little roundabout cul-de-sac kind of loop, and it kind of follows the curvature of the key, and then it scoots out here. Looks cool, eh? I thought so, at least. And now we have tourists flooding in to the city. <laughs> Alright, not like millions, but quite a lot. Quite a lot. And even better, and most importantly, cruise ships are traveling through our bay now. So there's some boat traffic here. And it kind of just livens up the city, you know? Looks cool. I like it. And it fills out this little area. Oh, so nice. However, there is a small problem here. I ended up having to use a bus line to connect this to our Bits Junction transit hub because the ferry isn't gonna work yet. You see, the problem is you have to draw like a ferry line and to do that, we'd have to go from here to there, but I don't have this tile yet. So unfortunately, we can't hook it up to our transit hub yet. So for now, there's just gonna be the bus and we're gonna have to live with it until we can unlock these new tiles. However, we can have a ferry going over to here, which is the new area we're gonna work on. And by the way, I'm choosing a name for this one, probably one of the only districts I wanna name myself, and it's gonna be the Sunshine Coast, because we have the Sunshine Coast, we'll have Midnight Crescent, and then Sunset Boulevard, all the names kind of just work together. And Sunshine Coast sounds cool. And it's actually the name of an area uh, near where I live, which is pretty cool too. Anyway though, with the uh, ferries now, we can have a ferry going from A to B, and then later on, we can hook it up to here, so ferries can be going all the way to here, to there, to this island, and everywhere. So, we do get to hook up our first ferry line today. Right on. And then just into there. Easy? I guess? And then we can just draw in the stops? Oh! Almost ready to set up a ferry. We need a ferry depot. So this is where the ferries kind of chill until they're hooked up to a line. So I suppose it's going to have to go somewhere around here. And okay, just for convenience sake, I put the two of them side by side. I was going to have the ferry depot like over here somewhere, but I was like, ah. It's going to look kind of messy if we have a bunch of dock type things like this all over the place. Like it's better to have them neatly like here, there, and like one over here somewhere later on. So that looks nice. And I've hooked up the lane, so that's hooked up to that, and we can simply just do this, uh, that, and then it goes right back. Yep, easily done. So, we can turn that on. This is already on. And that's gonna be good to go. Just have to set up the power and stuff. And before I set up the power, I really just want to do the road layout for the Sunshine Coast here. So, essentially, this is gonna be like a very posh, green area. I've set the district to have like green buildings and everything, so it's gonna have like super futuristic solar panels and all that jazz. Because I want this area to be like the super rich, posh area of the city. And also, I thought it would be fun to juxtapose the super green, nice looking area with the horrifically dirty and polluted oil industry. It's kind of like a yin and yang kind of thing, eh? Thought that could be pretty cool. And then as for the actual road layout, it shouldn't be anything that complicated. So keyword being, shouldn't be. <laughs> oh man, oh man. I was just planning on doing the simple grid structure for this area. And then one thing leads to another and... <laughs> everything's madness now. Everything's madness. So uh, let's go through this all. Number one. Monorails! Brought the monorails on down here. So, they skewed up from this area. We go scoot over here between the train tracks. 
scoots onto a road down here and right into here. I thought that was pretty cool. So now people have the option to either use the ferry or the monorail. You know, options are always good. Highway-wise, this, no, this is what got me kind of tripped up. Highway-wise, it's pretty easy to get people from here onto the highway. Because this outbound highway lane is right there. Simple stuff, right? So I have the entrance way back here. And there you go. They're off to the races. Now, here's the thing. Getting people from the highway into here. Because the highway directly goes into the oil industry area. And I was like, well, what what do I do now? So, oh, oh, things just got wild. I tried a million different things, but essentially I settled on doing this. There's a highway exit right here. It scoots off this way. Goes to this, like, mega structure bridge. Crossing the highway and both train tracks. And that kind of connects this side of the highway with this side of the highway. And then it also hooks up with this road over here. And, oh, oh. So if you guys know me, I don't like tunnels. I generally don't like tunnels, but ugh. I tried putting a bridge over here and it looked so bad. <laughs> and I think this tunnel looks pretty clean. Like it kind of finishes the loop, like this comes up goes around, and then stops there. I thought that was all right. It's like, okay, fine. We gotta have a tunnel here. You know, yeah. Like a bridge, it, oh, it would just look so bad. Yeah, and, and this bridge, like these double lane roads have the worst looking bridge in the game, in my opinion. It's just, I couldn't, I could not bear, I could not bear to do it. Okay, so yeah. That hopefully will be the only tunnel in our city. And I think that's a good use of a tunnel. Anyway though, everything else is looking good. Area is ready to go. And I got the best idea ever. Guys, guys. So this is supposed to be a super rich area, right? What if it's not only because of the oil, but because it's also a high tech area. So it's like a little California with their greenhouses and tech, uh, tech industry. Dude, gonna be wild. So let's start zoning here. Number one, we're gonna have the greenhouses. They're gonna be right along the beach, just like so. We might take out a number of them. Don't want it to be a, too busy. We'll kind of go from here and see what we see. There we go. Not bad, not bad. Then in the middle here, when it gets a little busy, we're gonna have green towers. So that will be here. In this block. This block. And over here. And then in the back, so people don't have to see the horren horrendous uh, oil industry area. There's gonna be a bunch of green, or sorry, the IT cluster buildings. And these are like super futuristic, super tall IT buildings. So I'll completely block the view of the highway and the nonsense. Okay. Okay. In fact, we could just bring them all the way down here. Cool, cool, cool. And that is the general idea with all of the zoning. So what I have to do next here is I have to add in the shopping area. And I'll go just right in the middle here. Just by the uh, met our monorail station. Put a shopping area here. Probably some parking lots in there. That looks pretty good. Maybe switch this one out. There we go. Yeah, now that's pretty good. Not a ton of shopping, but they could always drive down the road. And there's Sunset, our Moonlight Crescent here, which is like the giant super so shopping district of our city. So it shouldn't be too big of a problem for them. Anyway though, added in a few service buildings and now, this should be ready to come alive. So uh, super fast forward, let's check out all the beautiful green buildings that are coming in. Oh my God, it's so nice. Look at the loft on the top floor. It's like, oh, it's like a public space. With a bench in there. Dude, 
The green buildings from the Green Cities DLC are the best, man. Oh, and now the beach buildings are coming in. Oh my gosh. The smaller, uh, low density residential buildings, eh, a little boxy to be honest. It fits the theme pretty well though. Oh, skyscraper, so. My freaking favorite. Okay, I think we can safely say the area is a bumpin'. Oh yeah, listen to all those level up dings. Look at all those green roofs. People walking around having fun. The restaurants and green buildings over here looking awesome. Electric car charging stations. My goodness. And then a trillion billion oil trucks on the other side of the road. And man, this thing. Oh, I've been messing around with it like for hours now actually. Oh, the traffic is just wild with it. Not sure what else to do, man. <laughs> I've just been trying my best. Also, it doesn't seem we're getting many of the, what's it called, IT cluster buildings in. So it looks like that's going to take a little bit of time. We have no industrial demand, so just have to wait and see on that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But I got a great freaking idea. Two, in fact. So we have these pretty iconic places here. We have one mountain here. And we have one little mountain thing here. And I was thinking we could put something special on each of them, right? So let's start with the smaller coast area here. And let's put the Statue of Wealth. Because this is the super wealthy area. So of course the Statue of Wealth is going to be here. Like, come on, brother. So let's just add in a super quick road. Hopefully it fits or else we're going to be in for... <laughs> some stuff. That looks actually really good. Oh, that's not bad at all! Not bad at all. I could tidy it up a little bit, but generally speaking, it's a guy with a coin behind him in the city in the background. Oh, so iconic! So it's a good idea, just need to fix it up. Alright, that's looking pretty good now. Gotta say, gotta say. Lots of rocks, lots of detail, nice level terrain. Look at the view! Gorgeous! Is that thumbnail gorgeous? I think it might be. Goodness gracious, all the cruise ships. Lovely. <laughs> Man, our city's so popular, I think we might need another harbor. Anyway though, uh, as for this, aside from the rocks and a bit of terraforming, added in some pedestrian paths so people can actually just walk there if they wanted. So uh, from the town, little way to scoot up there. From the ferry, little way to scoot up there. And of course the road leading up to it. So it looks pretty good. Rest of the areas come along nicely and now it is time for... This hill! Which is going to be our next big project. And since this area is supposed to be, like, a technology-type area, 
I was thinking that we could have a technology institute right nearby. So we'll put this bad boy down, probably facing this way. Just to make sure it lines up with the road. Turn on my guidelines just for a moment here. A bada boom. A bada bang. Will that, oh my god, will that work? It, it, it checks out, okay. Maybe we bring it back just a tad here. That road is, I can't believe that road even works. That is the weirdest road, man. Oh, there we go. Kareen was not agreeing with me there. Well, that's pretty good, right? Oh, psh, pretty good. That's absolutely beautiful. Has like, even, it even has like a slight little angle that fits with the roadways. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that will do. And this area is so shiny, eh? These roofs. What are, what are they, solar roofs? Absolutely are. Anyway though, <laughs> back to this. Yeah, that's pretty good, eh? Look at the view. Get to look over everything. <laughs> Even though they're gonna be staring at their computers like pretty much all the time. At least they have a nice view when they're done with school. So then from here, we just took up the road and decorated a little bit. Doesn't need to be anything major, I don't think. Just maybe a couple nice looking trees and we plug that in to here. Alrighty, get rid of the dump. Most cool, most cool. And you know what? I even have the monorail track right here. So we could, dare I say, add in a station and a little bus just for the people on this hill. Oh my god, that is absolute, dude, that's a, that's absolutely what we're doing. That's such a cool idea. There's a university where I'm from, or where I, near where I live, called Simon Fraser University, and it has something almost exactly like this. Like, you'd have to get off the Sky Train, it's called, and then you'd have to go on a bus up to the university, which is on top of a mountain. <laughs> oh my gosh. Maybe that's why I'm building things this way. Spooky stuff. Spooky stuff. Can I just do that? Oh, I see. It goes to the end of the road for a turnaround. All right. Well, that's the general idea. I'll fix some things up and make it actually functional. Okay, it's been a little while here, and I have the area looking pretty fine. Pretty spicy, if I do say, if I do say. Added a cool little park at the front here. Added some parking lots, some fences, little details, stuff like that. And then over here, I kind of made it its own, like, little university town. So we have a bunch of high rises, we have, like, a little ski park, stuff for all the university kids. Thought it looked pretty cool. In fact, I liked it a lot. The only thing I really have to do is add in the bus stop here. So we'll just have it go like that, like this, and easily done. Cool. And that area is looking fine, looking dandy. Then, as for everything else, this is still looking good. No offices yet. We'll be coming soon, hopefully. And then over here, behind the university, I decided to make some type of industrial type area. So I just have like a post sorting facility in here. It used to be over in the mining area, but that, that didn't really like make a lot of sense. So. I decided to move it here. It's like right in the middle of everything. Seemed like a good spot. Yeah, and just threw in a few other things that need to be around. Like a road maintenance depot, a recycling center, just that kind of jazz. It's not like a beautiful city area. It's just like maintenance type stuff. And then I also didn't realize how much freaking traffic this post sorting facility freaking made. So I've made its own highway exit over here. So. The post trucks will come down here, screw it around here, and up and around, and there they go. I think I just have to switch this road up, all nice and quick. And it'll be working just fine. Because if not, it's causing a bit of a backup back here, because that's the only way they can get to the facility. Okay, okay. And then with everything else, it's looking good. It's looking good. I don't want to fill up this area entirely. In fact, this is 
pretty much all I want to do with it. Like, a thing I kind of struggle with in City Skylines is kind of leaving dead space. Usually, I prefer to have every inch itemized and looking crazy good. Like, just seeing an empty spot here drives me nuts. I actually need to leave that there because of noise. And yeah, as you can kind of see, I usually like to use space to its max. But cities need a breeze sometimes, and you kind of have to leave some empty space. And since this is like the center of the city, I thought I'd kind of leave it alone. We'll kind of like spread out from here with the highways. Like I really like how this area turned out. Like it's like its own little town at the end here. This is the main city. This really feels like its own little area over here. Same with this. Like that's what I want it to feel like. Like you're in a whole different area, whole different town. Like, the people here have their own different attitudes, own way of life. They look on the city people like, Basha! Freaking city people. I don't know. Like, they have their own culture type thing. And even this university town, I want it to have its own feel too. So you know what? We're gonna take it out of the Sunshine Coast. And it's gonna be something else. I don't know though. You guys are gonna have to name this district. I'm not 100% sure. It's kind of like in the center of the city, it has a technology institute, it has a little university town. I don't know. You guys let me know your name suggestions in the comments below. Anyway though guys, I think I'm gonna actually call it here. Bit of a shorter one, I know, and I'm sorry. It's just I've had a very late night week with a few recording issues. And in fact, I'm finishing this video off at 4 a.m. <laughs> so, I really need to fix my sleep schedule, especially with Satisfactory coming out this week. So, yeah. Sorry about that, guys. Normal length episode next weekend. And hopefully by then, I can find a solution to this absolute maddening fairy problem. <laughs> but I guess we'll see if you have any suggestions on what to do, because this is... Yeah. It gets a little too busy busy. Anyway though, again, that's gonna be all here, so if you guys enjoyed, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, and I hope to see you again in the next episode. So, have a fantastic rest of your day, and bye bye